I know you said, like we said, it, there was a bit of uh, po politics, internal politics there, but and, and some of you that would have watched the live feed may have seen it on the side. I know some of you have mentioned it to me, but I think it needs to be actually called out because I, I, yeah, I, 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 I feel... But there was one of the organisers who pulled us off the... The, um, the, the, the speakers list for whatever, I have no idea why, um, and, and pretended even when I, when I was interested, you know, I'm going to say Rahim, I don't even know him, I've, I've, I've followed him, I've seen his work before, I actually had a lot of respect for him before I came this time, but he's a snake, and, I, and, 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 and I, when I get a chance to speak to Tommy after the, this whole deal's done, I think we need to be careful of people like that, because it is unbelievable that the crowds were there for a sole purpose to support Tommy. Yeah. And there's someone there that could take this whole thing and turn it into their own. And, you know, and, it, it was it was actually quite disheartening internal politics that I didn't understand. I don't get it. I don't actually get what was going on. Is it maybe because I'm an Arab and he's an Arab and there's only one room for one? I don't get it. You know what? And if Raheem had balls, he would have actually said it to my face instead of pretending like he didn't know who he was. And I can tell you, no, we've organised hundreds of events in Australia. If I had a speaker that was willing to pay their own fears, come over at no cost to me, I would be welcoming them with open arms. Yeah, and, and, and I know a bunch of people did message me asking me why we went off so fast. And I've been keeping my mouth shut. I know some of you, you know, you could hear uh, Big Kev, Tommy's cousin in the background having a go at Rain and a few of the other ones because it, that's a thing. I want to thank all the rest of the organiser yeah. there because they made sure we went on stage even though um, that bloke really was intent on making sure we don't get to speak. Unfortunately, that's the way I, I've realised this happens in Australia as well. Mm -hmm. it's but all about egos. but but I don't be disheartened by people like this. I'm telling myself that same message, but I've lost all my respect for that man who. You know what was? Oh, oh, and I, I know I'm ranting on about it, but you know what was funny? And I wanted to punch him in the freaking face, and I don't condone violence. But I know Liam Tufts that I met there, top bloke, legend. He was also pulled off the speakers list and all that. And he's a mate of Tommy's. And I've seen him at the Freedom uh, uh, yeah. Day for Freedom. Tommy loves him. They're, they're, they're brothers. And he, he wasn't allowed to speak, but he, got, he, he also, when we went through that process, he was put on in the beginning. Also cut off the my, main live feed. It's not up there. And Raheem runs up on stage and pretends like he's his best mate. And, and, and I just see people like that. You are scum. This is about Tommy, and I'm thankful for everyone that did and everything. Can I just say before you? Yeah, I'm I'm I, done. I'm done because I'm gonna get in trouble talking, for having. Talking. I'm gonna get in trouble Stop for having this rant. Go.